In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your Instagram feed to your Wix website. I'm going to show you with my Instagram here. You can go ahead and follow me at Bradley BRXD. I talk about YouTube search page channels. So anyway, to add your Instagram to your Wix website, you want to go to add elements and then go to the search bar here and just search for Instagram. Once you've done that, it then should give you some elements here that you can add. You want to go ahead and go to the app market and then retype in Instagram. So here, go to search apps and type in Instagram. And here you will see all of the different apps that you can add. Now, if you want to add your Instagram feed, you want to choose this application here called Instagram feed. So we'll click on that and it should be this one here by Wix. So go ahead and add to your site and that should then open up this window and add it to your Wix website. So here we've got the Instagram feed pop up here. Now what we want to do is drag this to somewhere on our website. So I'm just going to drag it and add it here and I'm going to resize this so it is smaller because it is a bit too big at the minute. Okay, so now we've got that Instagram feed added and we can resize this however we want. We now need to go to settings and then here you can add your Instagram account. So I'm going to connect my personal account. So go ahead and click on that. If you've got a business account, obviously click on that and connect it. It will redirect you to Instagram to a new window where you just want to give it access to your profile information and the media and then click allow. And all that's going to do is show your Instagram feed on Wix. They're not going to be able to access any personal info. Then it's going to populate this feed here with your Instagram posts. Now we can go to display and you can enable or disable some of these. So it thinks that my Instagram feed is private for some reason. So I'll close out of this and then reopen settings. And you should now be able to edit most of these settings here. One that you might want to customize is going to be the layout section. I like to have mine on grid and you can choose how many rows you want and how many columns. And obviously you can resize this and find like configuration that works for you. So maybe this one is the best one. And um, we're going to keep the image ratio on one to one. And you can configure here the post stacking. So that's going to be like how close the images are together and the gallery padding as well. And then in design, again, you can go ahead and customize more. So do you want your titles to appear on your images? And do you want there to be like an opacity? And do you also want there to be like a border? And you can change the opacity opacity of that border. You can add effects like a zoom in effect. And once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and resize it, obviously, and put it onto your website. Now let's go ahead and preview this. So we'll click publish and we'll view our website. Here you can see if you scroll down, you can now see my Instagram feed and that's how you can add it to your Wix website.